What's up guys? So today we are going to smoke some wings on ASNS Kamado and uh, I've got the charcoal and everything already set up in there. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on this and uh, see what we're working with. Alright, so I got some mesquite lump in here. Just what I use these days is uh, some Mexican mesquite lump and I uh, got quite a bit of it in here. Um, I'll take this piece out and just set it aside. Don't really need that. I also have some uh, wood chunks here, mesquite chunks. Just gonna kind of position them. This should be plenty. Actually, this is overkill. These three pieces is more than enough for this cook. So, got a little fire starter here. Open up the bottom vents. Go ahead and get a fire going here. These are a little hard to light, but man, once they get going, they're pretty good. Just let it catch real good and then we'll make a little pocket here for it. Just like so. All right. This coal is enough coal for a like five hour smoke, four to five hour smoke, honestly. So this, I'm not even gonna use all of this. And it might even last longer because I took the water pan out of the uh, slow ones here. And what we're doing is the uh, turbo slow method where we're gonna have the meat over here, we're gonna have the fire on this side, and then we're gonna have a good air flow through the bottom by having everything just open underneath and uh, kind of like a Weber kettle offset kind of setup but they call it the turbo slow on the uh, slow and sear setup so we're gonna let this get going I'm gonna go get my temp monitor put it in place and then uh, we'll get to uh, getting the wings set up alright so a lot of people are asking me uh, what temp monitor I've been using and uh, I've been using this Inkbird IRF 4S for a little while I think somebody being smart ass made the comment on my Inkbird unboxing video. Oh, I bet you don't even use that thing. It was just, you know, they sent it to you. No. Nope. No. Nope. Not at all. I still use it. It's a great it's a great <laughs> remote probe. I like that it's not using up my phone. I just have my little transmitter here. And I have my uh, receiver, it's just like uh, it's a little box. Both are fully rechargeable. This thing is like uber cheap right now. I think it's like 50 bucks or something. It keeps getting cheaper by the day, uh, I guess, as newer technology rolls out. But hey, this is a great uh, remote thermometer for anybody who just, just wants a temp probe on the grate and they want to plug in uh, uh, three, four probes. It holds up to three meat probes and a temp probe, so it's pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna go ahead. So I'm simply just gonna plug this bad boy in. Just pick a port. It's in Celsius, let me click that. All right, reading 82 on the grill right now. Need to clean it up a little bit. I've done a lot of barbecuing with it. Uh, it's 82 on the grill right now. Let's usually just let it sit right here. And let it be happy. So I hit oven. I can set high and low temps. So let's say low temp, let's set the uh, low temp to 220, let's say 220, let's do 220. And the high temp to uh, 250. That's good. Hey, it'll notify me uh, when it's ready. Right now it's uh, 82 degrees in there, but got the high and low set to 220, 250. So we're good on that. And that's all we're doing with the probe today is just monitoring the grill temp. I don't really need to put a meat probe in the chicken. I mean, we're gonna high heat cook it at the end to crisp them up a little bit. So so that's the beauty of the slow it's here is uh, when we're ready to like kind of do some crisping up, I just like basically just move the chicken over on top of the hot coals and just let it kind of char them up a little bit, get some crisp, crisp crunchiness on there. 
and then we'll put a little sauce in there or whatever. So if I sound a little nasally or whatever, I just recover them from a cold. I've had colds last two months back to back pretty much. So it is what it is, right? So uh, let's get some chicken seasoned and uh, then we'll get them on the grill when uh, the attempts within range. Okay guys. All right, what we got here is uh, some wings, just a few, not a ton. We're just gonna put a lot of oil in there. That's canola oil. We're just gonna kind of rub them down with some oil. You know, this is just for binding the rub to the wings. Always good to wear a glove for this. Grill temp still sitting at 86, but that's usually how it goes with the uh, turbo slow method. The uh, grate's gonna get hot slower. All right. We got, we got some Chupacabra Clecalicious Poultry Rub Seasoning. This stuff is fantastic on chicken. So we're just gonna kinda sprinkle it around in here. Don't be shy. Put a good bit down. Take those wings to Flavor Town. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll do a little bit more just over here. All right, those are gonna be some good wings. All right, now I'm gonna take these and put them in the fridge while the grill comes with the temp. Just kind of let that flavor kind of set in real good. And then we'll get back. We'll get back and uh, put these wings on. All right, guys. So we actually ended up hitting uh, over our range 252. I'm not gonna sweat it. These are still gonna turn out good. And to be honest, the tip will probably drop because I do have the vents closed down quite a bit for the moment. So let's go ahead and open her up. Got a nice little bit of smoke and some heat in here, which is great. Go ahead and set my wings in place. Okay, it's beeping at me because the temperature dropped because I had the grill open, but that's okay. All right, we're good there. Let's go ahead and close her up. Tell the alarm to shut up. All right, now these are gonna go for about an hour, hour and a half on the smoke. And then we'll flip them over to the hot side and just sear them up real nice, get a little char on them, and then we'll put some sauce on them and they'll be good to go. So I'll see you here when uh, we get ready to uh, put them on the heat. You know, when you're barbecuing, you know what comes around when you're barbecuing. Every freaking fly within a mile radius. So you need to uh, protect your barbecue at all costs. So I've just been patrolling this barbecue while these little bastards try to get all on my stuff. Another rule of gun safety is always don't put your finger on the trigger till you're ready to shoot. Always have it like this. Oh, I found one. He's dead now. I guess we can move forward. All right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna open the vents all the way, top and bottom. 
and then uh, let this bad boy uh, get really hot and move the wings over, crisp them up, and then put them in a bowl and we'll sauce them up. So here we go. Open her all the way up, top and bottom. Get some good max airflow going. Want to get that heat and those coals going real good and then we will move the wings over and crisp them. All right, we're gonna open this thing up. I'm gonna pull this grate open. I'm gonna actually try to rake some of these coals around because I want to get some even distribution of the heat here. I want hot heat all the way across, not in just one spot. So kind of moving these around a little bit. So there we go, Let's keep. I want the rest of these coals to get nice and hot on this end too. That way I have more crisping room. There we go. You close her up and let her go. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and move the wings over to the hot side. Hear a nice good little searing sound going on over here. I just want to set these over here and crisp them up some. I love that I can actually just fit them all over here. Get a little char on them, a little crispiness. One to grow on. All right, we're gonna let them sit there over the hot heat. Directly over the coals and let them cook up some. All right, let's check on the wings. We'll flip them over. Make sure to get equally crispy on each side. Oh yeah, these are starting to crisp up some. I could feel it on the tongs. It smells absolutely incredible. Now see what I was trying to do earlier is get more heat on this end for this. But what I might end up doing, because still there's more heat on this side than this side, so I'll probably rotate these guys off opposite sides. But yeah, these are looking really, really good. Get out of here, fly. Or you're gonna be next on my hit list. Oh yeah, look how brown, look how that's looking. Flames kissing those wings. Ooh, smells so good. All right, another round, let's check on them. The fire is starting to get happy. Okay, that was still going good. We're gonna take that one a little bit. Oh, these are looking really, really, really good. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Oh yeah, see that? That's why we want that little crispy skin. Oh yeah. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner, as they say. Oh yeah, look at that fire. Getting excited now. So what I'm gonna do, move a couple of these guys down. Move this guy over here. Move this guy on down. Move this guy over here. Look at that. That's, that's money, man. That's what we want right there. We want that fire to get a little excited. Close her up for a couple more minutes. All right, let's see how we're looking. Woo, a lot of smoke, because all that fat on that chicken. Starting to render, render off the chicken and cook. All right, we look good on that one. We can start taking these guys out, putting them in the bowl. Yep, we good. Oh yeah, don't want them to get too charred. Oh yeah, we are good. Ooh, it helps to have long tongs too, because fire is just crazy. Let those go just a little bit more. Yeah, let those go just a little bit more. 
Don't go. I should move this one here. Yeah, that one's good. At this point, you can just leave the grill open. Yep. Yep. These are looking pretty good, too. And shoot a flies if I keep them away from your food. Kind of multitasking right here. That one's good. Yeah, we're looking good. Oh shit, lost one. That one's going for one of the kitty cats. All right, let's sauce these babies up. Snack, crackle, and pop. What we got here is some Flying saucy Korean barbecue sauce from HEB, and I've never had it before, but I thought this is going to be excellent on some wings. So we're going to go ahead and just pour this in here, just like that. I like good Korean barbecue, so got our bowl. Go ahead and mix her up in the sauce. Or you can get all fancy and toss them around, but I'm not like that. I don't trust myself. Look at the fly. The flies even want it. Go flies. I'm going to have to go on an assault mission against the flies. So, anyways, I'm going to take these in, come back with one so the flies don't get to them. Bam. Oh, that smells like Korean barbecue. That smells phenomenal, man. Yeah. All right. So the flies know it's summertime. And I know it's summertime. And... Cooking some wings is a good indicator of summertime or football, if you're a football fan or whatever. Sauced up in that Korean barbecue sauce. Look at that crispy chicken wing, man. Let's go for a kill here. Wow. That sauce is amazing. Good job, H-E-B. Mm -mm -mm. Don't mind if I do. Don't know what H-E-B is. It's a, one of the best grocery chains west of the Mississippi. What? Not really. H-E-B's got good stuff. These chicken wings are actually from Costco. No. Neither of them asked me to plug them. I just thought I would tell you where I got everything. Man, this is really good. And uh, I'm about to go on a fly killing mission when I'm done with this. They're everywhere. <laughs> I probably killed like 30 of them make while barbecuing. I'm gonna kill a whole lot more. Anyways, these wings are money. Man, if you live in Texas, This stuff is really, really flipping good, man. Really, really good. Mmm. There's a good little mesquite flavor going on in those wings as well. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you me having a little fun with the slow and sear, doing a turbo slow method on some wings. Smoked them for about an hour and a half, then ramped up the heat to super, super hot. Threw the wings over on top of that super, super hot fire. Crisp them up some. Throw them in a bowl. Sauce them up. Bob's your uncle. Good deal. So. So anyways, guys. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, I don't know what I'll cook next. But I have some ideas. Cheers. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit like and subscribe, of course. And if you're uh, following me on Rumble, just give me a like. Whatever. I'm still figuring that whole platform out as well. So, cheers, guys. See you later.
And you don't live in my house without paying rent, fool. They are all oh, missed him. He'll come back. Oh, they're always stupid. They always come back. Bye, fly. Oh, there's another one. Oh, look at that. Oh, his boys decided to hop in on the game. This is too much fun. Gotcha, bitch. Here. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. Man, there's literally like 700 of these motherfuckers. <laughs>